Good evening uh, everybody. Um, a quick video today um, is one I have uh, just thought of like this afternoon um, and it's a very like, important um, uh, matter that I need to address um, and it is regarding Arsenal Football Club and of one Laurent Kashani. Uh, yep, um, as me and many Arsenal and football fans there would have heard um, this afternoon that um, Arsenal captain Laurent Kashani has flat out refused to travel and partake um, in Arsenal's uh, US tour. Um, and I for one find this completely despicable. Um, our club at the moment um, isn't getting a lot of good press at the moment. This is the last thing that we need. Um, yeah, I, I, I am speechless. Um, I want to give a uh, shout out to my uh, good friend uh, Liam Sayers and Lock who um, brought this um, news like, to my attention like, on like, this afternoon. Um, yeah, I, I, I was completely shocked like, when I found out. Um, this is this is um, well, I mean, this is this is really strange. I mean, um, well, it's it's another lot. It's another thing in a long line of embarrassments um, that we're going through the uh, football club lock at the moment of uh, losing losing a lot to Chelsea in the Europa League, um, missing out on the top four, having to enjoy another season of Europa League football on the horizon of of this season. Um, not the coming season, losing losing Aaron Ramsey um, on a free, uh, Petr Cech retiring and then returning back to Chelsea. Uh, gosh, what what do I, what do I say? I mean, this whole uh, oh yeah, uh, um, of, of despite the fact of us signing like a player, um, the transfer window thus far has been nothing short of a embarrassment for us. And having this right now is really shocking. Uh I really cannot fathom like, as to why uh, Kashani um, is doing this. Apparently, uh, through sources lot like, I've heard, um, as, like, especially if you go like look, look on Arsenal fan um, TV, um, report like, reports are saying that like, that he's he's trying to engineer a move away from Arsenal. He's got one year left like, on his contract. I th I think sort of like if this was like any other Arsenal player. You know, you well. I wouldn't say like any other Arsenal player. Like if he if he wasn't the captain, I think you could maybe like look upon this as still still with disdain, but not so much. Like the fact the fact that he's he's the captain and he's refusing, actually like refusing like to partake is is terrible. Um, and I for one like, like I'm disgusted at and I'm disgusted because like I'm a huge fan of uh, Kashani. I really am. I, you know, like ever since like we signed, we're like sort of, yeah, you know, he's he's got the build of of Adams, um, you know, like the aggressiveness of Vieira, you know, the the the, the like the leaderships of you know, like like O'Leary, like McClintock, great 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 captains who have come like before him, um, you know. What's got what's going on? This is this is this is shocking. I mean, you know, Arsenal, Arsenal, you know, I actually think it's actually quite disrespectful what uh, Kashani's done. You know, cons like considering that, um, you know, like he had like he had that career um, threatening injury in the Europa League against Atletico Madrid uh, the season not before last. Uh, we. We could have just we could have just um, thrown him on like the scrap even said yeah mate you're finished you know like a thank you lot for the memories and all that but goodbye you know like we stuck by him like we we sort of like rehabilitated him back you know we given him the uh, captaincy you know where's the, you know that that is that is just terrible and and I think the problem is um, at the moment is that. Um, we're we we're, we're gonna be struggling a lot for captains now, because like, I know that <clears throat> that um uh, Emery ha has his sort his his five captain policy like type thing. So those all lot could be sold, like is our favour. That leaves Shaka, not exactly a fan favourite, but a lot like a likable so sorry a liable um option. Um Ramsey's gone, Welbeck's gone, Czech's gone. Uh, Lichtenstein's gone. Like so, all the old people, like that, that could be in the mold of captain. Now. 
one say so you think like that could leave like not Bellerin like he's a good shout but of course like he won't be back until at least the sec second half of the season like I said like like got Shaka uh well those will still be here like at that point uh Monreal you, you know like he's a good shout but will he last um like for next season and that you know so I mean it's it's terrible and and I feel as though that it's it's another um it's another um spoken the will of the cursed captaincy um we haven't actually had a fit viable consistent captain i don't think since like since um well possibly like fabregas or vieira like because i mean like let, let's go let's go through like the captain like the captains you know, you know like we've had um throughout the years so um well since 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 um patrick vieira like, retirement lots of vieira gave it over to, not to fabregas um, Fabregas would have led the team like have have everything built built around him. Injuries started piling up. He lost interest. Wanted to go to Barcelona, so that was that. So, yeah, uh, Vieira, so, sorry, um, Fabregas. Uh, William Gallas started well as a brilliant captain, um, and then there was a time where like we uh, drew at Birmingham, and he threw like he threw like the paddy on the pitch, um, and then. You know, like just like he did at Chelsea, like I said, ah, oh, I don't, I don't feel like playing like anymore. So, yeah, like there you go. Uh, Thomas Vermaelen, really brilliant, brilliant player for Arsenal leadership. Would have, would have had many, many more years of captaincy if he, if he stayed fit. Same goes like for Arteta. Same goes like for Murtasaka. Same goes like for Kashani. So the captain's armband seems to be sort of. You take the armband, you you um continue to have many many injuries. Ramsey Ramsey's um had the captaincy a lot of times as well, right like injuries as well. He haven't had an actual consistent captain. I think what well, I think Fabregas, Fabregas and Vieira are like one of the last consistent captains, um in terms of sort of keeping fit and that and, and even for that you know um Adams Campbell Gilberto a lot of likes of them, but. You know, so that's that's the other thing that we have to think about, like searching up for another captain. But going back to to uh, Kashani, um, I am I am completely shocked and and disappointed um, in him. You know, like he, like he's a player like I look up to in terms of sort of like a real like leadership qualities. Because um, not many people know, or or a few people know, like that. Uh, Tony Adams um, is my all time favorite Arsenal player, and growing up, um, he was my hero. Um, you know, like every time, like I go play football, you know, I, I always sort of want to be the defender, sort of like a really like the, the playing playing in the mold, like of Adams. Um, it's it's really shocking that like they decided like to like to do this, you know, sort of. You know, if if you're trying not to engineer a move away, there's better, more subtle ways to do this. Um, so like if I'm Emery now, I'd say I'd say right. Captain C's lost for you, you know. Yeah, okay. We go. It's going to create a problem for us to try find another captain. But stripping you to Captain C, and you go playing the under twenty threes, you know, because there's no unless he goes out and gives a public apology to not only the Arsenal players, the fans, and the board. There is no way back for him. You know he's gotta go to the under twenty threes, or basically, I'd say yeah, just just sell him up. To be to be cut to be perfectly honest, he's not even good for the under tw twenty threes now. Our under twenty threes are fantastic. They don't need that bad mentality in that lot. They don't need that stinking attitude. So saying oh like when like when you get to the first team, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold. Like my contract to ransom, like going struggling, go bugger off, lock up after that. Nah, that's not needed. I think he's not even good enough for the under twenty threes. So, Edu, Emery, Cronke, whoever's in charge of the transfers, whatever, get as much money as we can up this guy and just throw him the hell out. You know, uh, I'm 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 completely like disgusted like with that. Um, you know. We need money for transfers. Let's spend the money on someone who actually wants to be here. 
I'll tell you what a really good example, like Kashani needs lots of lead, lots of lead by. Aaron Ramsey, okay, we all knew like he was on luck as well, but did he give but did, but did he still give a hundred percent in his final games for Arsenal? Hell yes he did. Kashani, one year left on the contract. Down down in tools already. It's not okay. So get as much money like as you can and that. So yeah. Uh rant over, of course that that is, that is like a bit more um animated that you're used to seeing me <laughs> um on these videos but but it's something i feel as though that i had to share and this is one of the brilliant platforms of having um, a youtube channel and a voice to voice one's opinion which is brilliant uh, by the way and i and i feel i feel all the better for men for it not to be honest um so yeah i'm pretty sure i speak a lot for a lot, a lot of arsenal fans here like when i say uh, long kashani just get the hell out of our club no. Uh, so yeah, for rant over. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, um, anybody wants to leave uh, any comments, please do so below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, a very good evening to you all. Thank you. Bye bye.